Thanks very much. Afternoon, everyone. Pleasure to uh, speak to you today. So I'd just like you to uh, read uh, the forward-looking statements. So um, Oxford Biomedica is the first and only FDA-approved lentiviral vector manufacturer. Um, I'll, I'll explain how we got to that uh, strong situation. Uh, and in the last few years, we formed multiple partnerships in cell and gene therapy with leading companies, some large, some small. We're investing very heavily in innovation on products uh, as well as our Lentivector platform. And this is driven by the deep and differentiated experience of our employees. We're uh, 22 years uh, working with Lentiviral Vectors. So uh, we've done most of the things wrong in the past that you can do wrong. And uh, we're doing a lot of things now right. Uh, we've always been also investing in product development. And I'll uh, give you a quick update there. And uh, this balance between helping others develop products and developing some products ourselves uh, gives a solid uh, financial foundation for the company and significant upside uh, from our fully owned pipeline. So our mission statement is at the bottom, uh, delivering life-changing gene therapies to patients. And I'm very pleased to say that we are in this position today. Uh, our key partner um, on the market is Novartis um, in the field of CAR-T uh, and Kim Mariah. So we are uh, already uh, delivering life-changing vectors uh, within the context of that product, which Novartis is commercializing. So uh, the Lentivector platform uh, forms the basis of all that we do. Uh, so this is a combination of patents and uh, deep know-how in the field. Uh, great facilities, and I'll show you some pictures. Uh, quality systems that have stood up to regulators now, uh, including FDA, EMA, and PMDA in Japan, and expertise. On the left, you can see that we help others uh, with their programs, and we've got um, uh, quite a few partnered programs. We've just heard a very inspiring presentation from uh, Mark uh, at uh, Orchard Therapeutics. We work with Novartis in CAR-T, uh, we work with BI in cystic fibrosis, Sanofi in haemophilia, and Santen most recently uh, in the eye. But we've always developed our own products, and some of our knowledge and problem-solving capabilities in the manufacturing uh, sciences field has come from problems that we ourselves have encountered. So on the left, we have uh, more cash generation in the short and medium term. And on the right, we have the promise of uh, long-term value creation from our own product. So uh, lentiviral vectors are clearly extensively used uh, in the field of gene-modified stem cell therapies, also with gene-modified T cell therapies. But uh, we also see uh, ever more companies using lentiviral vectors for in vivo gene therapy. Um, we see AAV as uh, a clearly very effective gene delivery tool in an awful lot of settings. But we do think that lentiviral vectors have some different characteristics that make them uh, a very important tool for uh, gene therapists to, to consider. Uh, one of the differentiators is the ability to deliver roughly double the size of payload compared to AAV. Um, uh, patients don't have pre-existing immunity to uh, lenti. And because this is an integrating uh, gene therapy uh, vector, when cells divide, uh, such as stem cells, T cells, you really need to use lenti. But also, if you're targeting uh, organs where there's cells turning over, such as the liver, uh, there's the concern that episomal vector systems may wane over time. So we think uh, it's horses for courses. It's not a winner-takes-all vector. Uh, situation, uh, both are uh, uh, good tools uh, for the industry. So we're based in Oxford, UK, under an hour from Heathrow. And uh, on the left, uh, we've got our current facilities. So we have three GMP suites. Um, two of them are now uh, FDA uh, approved. Uh, but we're pretty much doubling our footprint with uh, quite substantial uh, investment. Uh, Windrush uh, Innovation Center is where we're going to be generating the, the next generation of Lenti technologies and manufacturing processes. And Oxbox is a, uh, for us, truly huge 
uh, commercial manufacturing facility for, for Lenti, over doubling our capacity. So this is kind of what it looks like. And uh, for, for all of you manufacturing wonks out there, this is uh, where you should get really excited. So uh, we, we make vector here. We can fill finish it here. Warehousing is underestimated. If you don't have warehousing, you can't actually do anything. We've, we've learned that over the years. So uh, this will be operational in uh, the first half of 2020. So we've been running pretty much at capacity for the last few years. Um, but uh, we are looking forward to some more partnerships uh, now that we have more capacity to take them on. So in terms of the platform, uh, these are our key partnerships. Uh, at the top, uh, we're um, the commercial manufacturer for Vector for Kim Raya. Uh, I'll talk a bit about that, but we work on other CAR-T programs with Novartis. Uh, we partnered uh, our uh, Parkinson's program with Axavant last year and continue to be the manufacturer there. Uh, we work with Sanofi and Haemophilia, uh, three key programs with Orchard Therapeutics, and we're strongly uh, working for the OTL 101 program, uh, as Mark said, uh, looking so promising. And we work in CF and uh, ocular indications uh, for BI and Santen. So what is the LentiVector platform? Uh, these are our LentiViral vectors, and it's a combination of uh, proprietary vectors with uh, well-recognized safety features uh, process development capabilities and analytics that uh, we believe are the most high-tech analytics in the sector, as well as uh, a bunch of proprietary technologies that our partners use if they need to and they don't use if they don't need to. One is the TRIP system. Uh, a lot of AAV uh, and Lenti products lose tighter when your therapeutic is expressed. This is a way of turning that off so you can sometimes return bad titers to the level of uh, GFP. So if you have a difficult uh, lenti or AAV to make, please come and talk to us. Uh, secreted nuclease is a way to better remove DNA. One of the problems with all transient transfections for AAV and lenti is you put in a lot of DNA to make the vector, you need to remove it. So we have a, a novel approach there. And maybe the most significantly, uh, we're bringing on a new generation of stable producer cell lines for lentiviral vectors called Lenti Stable. And uh, we think this will really drive down vector cost of goods very significantly uh, in the future. So we're probably best known for our partnership with Novartis. Uh, we've been uh, working with Novartis uh, since 2014 to help them prepare for BLA submission uh, and commercialization of Kim Raya. So we receive um, a low single digit royalty on net sales of Kim Raya, and we're very proud that that product is now commercialized in 19 countries, and we've managed to uh, support all regulatory uh, interactions and approvals. Um, we have a commercial supply agreement in place with Novartis and uh, uh, work on a number of programs in the pipeline. Uh, End of last year, we signed a partnership with BI. So this is a lentiviral vector which is nebulized to uh, deliver the whole CFTR gene uh, to the respiratory epithelia. Um, anyone who's worked in respiratory uh, medicine knows you really need a lot of material. So we're very excited to support this program uh, as it progresses uh, to the clinic. So we'll turn to the product side of the business. We have already partnered three of the programs uh, that we have originated and developed in-house. Um, I'll talk about the Axavant program in a sec. Uh, but uh, the programs for Stargardt disease and Usher's syndrome 1B were partnered uh, some years back to Sanofi. And uh, these genes are way too large to fit into an AAV and uh, we think hold uh, strong promise uh, for the future. Lower down, you can see we uh, have a number of programs. In particular, we have a solid tumor CAR-T program uh, called OXB302. Uh, we have a wet AMD program where we've already carried out a trial in 21 patients. And we work on two other uh, inherited retinal disorders, uh, LCA10 and RP1. So to Axavant, uh, this was a, a key partnership for us. Having previously treated 15 patients, we generated a much more potent second generation product and we partnered with uh, Axavant who had a real commitment to Parkinson's and CNS drug development. 
so that was a, a large deal for us last year, and uh, we maintain very active on the CMC side to support uh, progression of, of this program. So, innovation. This is probably uh, a slide that we think we can put up, and we're not sure anyone else in the Lenti CDMO field can. So, with our 550 employees, we reckon we're probably the biggest Lenti team in the world. Uh, we're working on wholly new uh, fourth generation Lenti, uh, aspects of regulation and targeting. We work on packaging and producer cell lines, so we own all of our own cell lines. We work on uh, novel approaches for upstream and downstream processing. Uh, but because we're scientists at heart, we work very hard on proteomics and transcriptomics to really understand how these complex 120 nanometer particles come together. Uh, automation is helping us release more batches with the same number of people, and uh, that's a big area of investment. Um, but we've also entered last year the area of AI and machine learning uh, with a partnership with uh, Microsoft Research. And we see that uh, data uh, is a strategic resource, and we're very interested to see how we can understand uh, complex signals in ever larger data sets that, that we're generating. In terms of future product development areas, uh, we're working in gene modified cell therapies, primarily our own CAR T. We continue to work in ocular. Uh, we uh, uh, see a lot of opportunity in the CNS where lentiviral vectors have very efficient gene delivery. And an integrating vector system such as a lenti is particularly well suited for liver. The liver cells turn over. So if you want a, a five or 10 year uh, product activity, uh, we think there's a strong case for an integrating vector system there. Clearly, that's the case for respiratory uh, epithelia, where cells turn over every 18 to 24 months. So for a lifelong therapy, you really do need to uh, consider um, uh, an integrating vector system. So unusually for a gene therapy company, here's our financials. So uh, we have been showing strong year-on-year -year revenue growth uh, in blue, in the top, you can see the underlying performance of the CDMO sector. And in our last half year uh, results, we showed a 23% uh, increase from H1 last year to H1 this year. And in, uh, in purple, you can see the less uh, forecastable, lumpy licensing revenues. But we see ourselves uh, pretty much at, at break even currently. So in terms of expected news flow, uh, what to expect from us uh, in the coming months, uh, we expect uh, bringing on new partners uh, now that we have more capacity to do so, growing royalty stream from Kim Raya, uh, further programs from Novartis uh, entering uh, the clinic and completing uh, our new manufacturing center at the end of the year. And we're watching very closely uh, our friends at Axivant uh, development of Axolenti PD. Uh, next year, uh, we will see um, uh, our new footprint coming on, on, on tap for manufacturing. Um, Mark's told us Orchard uh, filing the BLA for ADA SCID, and uh, we're looking to support our partner Sanofi bringing Lenti targeting uh, uh, programs for haemophilia A and B. And that is that. So just to summarize, um, we're in the fortunate position of being the first and only FDA-approved lentiviral vector manufacturer, multiple partnerships, focus on our core competence, some investment in product development, and uh, we're very proud to already be uh, delivering life-changing gene therapies to patients. Thank you.